was jumping on a rebound account. For bone density training. So if we're talking about a rebounder or any kind of trampoline, we have to remember then what we're, the surface on which we're jumping moves. Yes. Right? And the idea of jump training for bone density is the ground doesn't move. Our body has to respond to that. Mm. It's called a ground reaction force. So if we're talking about a rebounder, it's a good beginner part as like starting to introduce that kind of motion to the body. Yes, um, like your tendons and ligaments yep. can get used to the movement. And also proprioception. And if you start jumping and you're not used to that, you can be a little bit off-putting because mm -hmm. uh, we lose that capacity. Like we're skipping and jumping all the time. We're in a little. And then as you get older and you stop that, if you start it again, you're like, whoa, this is very weird. Mm. So rebound is really good for getting the body used to that motion before you start getting into assisted stuff on the ground with ideally now progressing to being able to jump down to the ground or up off the ground. And rebounders are still good for other forms of exercise. It's just the question that we get asked all the time is, is it specifically good for bone? Yeah, it is really good for, well, there's two things. One, retraining pelvic floor mm -hmm. and high intensity work. Yeah, for cardiovascular system. Exactly. Yeah.